Hello everybody, and this video is called Cooking with Toad. That's right, people. It's called Cooking with Toad today. I I heard so many requests from you guys to make to have me make something Minecraft related. Because yesterday I pinned a gas box. It could be used as a Halloween candy bag. It could be used as a piñata. Well, today we're gonna bake Minecraft grass blocks. The things you will need is um chocolate chips. I get the ones from Walmart because they are a yummy jumbo marshmallows. Since you saw that juice box, we're not gonna add a juice. And green food dye. Let me just get the food dye first. We're gonna do a lot of melting. So let me just get it. Yeah. Okay, I found it. And you will need Vanilla uh, sugar. Vanilla sugar is very easy to find. You can find it anywhere, but mostly people get them at Walmart because they are a yummy. Oh my god. I left my fork here when I was doing my play for a school because on the first day of school I'm doing a play. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is get your chocolate chips. These are the yummy ones. And then you're just going to open the bag like so. And just get a tray. A small container tray like this. And then you're going to pour your chocolate chips onto the tray. It's very easy. So I would just prefer put them in the middle. There. So once your chocolate chips are in the tray, you're gonna put them in the microwave for a few seconds, I would probably put it for 26 seconds. Just take those. Make sure you either have a cool touch bowl or just the tray I am using. So you're going to set your microwave to time cook and do 25 seconds and start. And then you just need to wait 25 seconds. Let's just watch this timer thing. And make sure to always check after the first few seconds. They're not gooey yet, so We'll just start that up again. And we'll wait until it reaches one. Hmm. 
not the best time to do. So, you're going to set it to 13. Oh my god, what the heck. Okay, let's just leave it in there for a few seconds and make sure to always check on them. Not yet, but almost. I'll bring a chair to kneel on. Just watch them, and you need to see until they turn very gooey, icky, and start to stick together. How are they now? Soon. Probably now. Oh yeah, that's gooey. But I'm gonna wait. Even if it is gooey, but they still look like chocolate chips, you might want to use them, but I prefer to let them take some more time. Okay, that's gooey. So you see, they look like chocolate chips, but even though they're very gooey now. And then just take something to spread them around, like, the edge of a spoon or knife. That would be a good idea. And just make sure they're all stuck and gooey. You don't want anything in this mix to be crispy. Okay, so you just need to do a little bit, so Put your spoon back in the drawer, and then you're going to take your marshmallows one by one and start dipping them. These are going to be chocolate marshmallows. Then you're going to just tap it on the tray like normal and get something to spread it around to make it look like, you know, dirt. If it gets on your fingers, don't worry. It it has a non-stick thing, it enzyme in it, and it is very edible, but this stuff has a lot of fat. So if you're on a diet, you probably shouldn't eat this or make it. Then you're going to just lay it. If you need more, just dip it in. Then you need to decorate the sides for this thing. This thing is easy mode, but I don't think it is easy for me. 
Just spread it around. Okay. Mm. Sorry about that. So we've got our bottom decorated. Now we're gonna get our green food dye. Just go to it and flip it over and put a few drops. Either wait for it to dissolve or spread it around. If you need to, just add more. Just spread it around the sides of your dirt block. If you don't get all the edges, don't worry. Just keep trying until you have no white to left. And this stuff will dissolve in, so don't worry. It will be crusty after all when you're done, but that means it gets more durable thingy like that. I just made one to show you how it would look if you only made one, but you can make a whole variety of them if you're having a birthday party. Like, it's good if you have Roblox or Minecraft. Either of those is good for these dirt blocks. Thanks for watching. Please request me more. And you can send and request me what you made, like Minecraft or Super Mario, because I'm a big fan of Super Mario and Minecraft, because I would love to see your requests and your sends of your uh, dirt blocks and any other stuff. So stay tuned and don't forget to watch my last video. Bye. This was brought to you by Baking with Toad. That's me.